The purpose of this DVD is to show you the basic safety points that must be observed if you plan to go afloat at Blagdon Lake. Safety afloat is our priority and you must be aware of these basic functions to allow you to enjoy the benefits of fishing afloat. All anglers must read the safety instructions on view in the lodge and must sign to say they have read and understood the safety instructions. If you're not completely sure of any instruction, ask before going to the boat. A weather forecast is displayed in the lodge where you will also find the finishing time. Boats must be returned to the jetty no later than 15 minutes after this time. There's a map of the lake in the lodge indicating where the no anchoring areas are. You must fully understand where these areas are and be sure to keep clear. You must wear a life jacket at all times. If you have your own, it is used at your own risk and must be fit for use. To put on a life jacket, slide your arms one at a time through the straps. Then fasten the buckle. You may need to adjust the straps of the jacket to suit you. Always wear the life jacket on top of any other clothing. Take your mobile phone with you, but take precautions to keep the phone dry. The maximum weight load for your boat is 300 kilograms. You may be asked by the staff to check the load before you can go out. Our jetties are large enough to hold a number of boats, but space on the jetties is limited. Our boats are rowing boats, however you can use your own electric motor, but this is at your own risk. Your boats should have these items aboard. Two oars and rollocks, a baler and an anchor. The anchor is an important safety item, so should never be removed. If any items are missing, tell a ranger. Carry a sensible amount of tackle at one time on the jetty, making several trips back to shore if needed. Do not leave tackle unattended on the jetties, as this is a trip hazard to other users. Enter the boat carefully from the bow, keeping your weight close to the centre line. Load your boat carefully from the bow by passing to a colleague already in the boat. If you are alone, ask for help from a ranger. Check the operation of the bilge pump. This pumps out any water that may have collected in the bottom of the boat prior to use. To operate, pump backwards and forwards until you are confident all the water has been pumped out. Repeat this process regularly throughout the day. If you use boat seats, ensure they are positioned so that when you sit in them, the boat doesn't tip. Row at a steady pace and keep a lookout for other water users at all times. When you reach your intended fishing position, bring the oars back aboard. We recommend sitting whilst casting and fishing. Do not stand on the seats whilst fishing. Use the anchor if you wish, but do not anchor in prohibited areas. To deploy the anchor, pick it up and gently lower it over the side of the boat and secure the end of the warp to the centre thwart on the boat. If your anchor gets stuck, unclip the rope and buoy from the thwart and throw it overboard. Inform the staff of the area where you left it when you get back ashore. Be aware of the emergency number on show in all the boats. If you need to attract attention at any time, raise an oar in the air and ring the emergency number if you can. A rescue boat will come as soon as possible. If the boat gets swamped, the inbuilt buoyancy will keep it afloat. If you find yourself in this situation, keep calm, inflate your life jacket and stay with the boat as this is easier to spot from the shore. Ring the emergency number if you can and try to attract a near boat's attention by waving, shouting or blowing a whistle. You must return to the jetty no later than 15 minutes after finishing time. Approach the jetty slowly and carefully. Be aware of other boats as you approach. Clip the boat onto the jetty. Do not leave any items unattended on the jetty. Only unload what you can carry in one go, making several trips if necessary. Report any problems to the duty manager. If you are the last person to use the boat, please lock the boat using the padlock. You must return to shore immediately if called to do so by a member of the Bristol Water staff. If this happens and it's rough, be aware that you may be directed to beach the boat on another part of the lake and then await collection by the staff. If recalled to the jetty, the ranger will assist you to tie up and get out of the boat. 
Leave your tackle aboard until told by the staff that it's safe to remove it. Return your life jacket to the drying room. And finally, enjoy your day.